Hey guys, myself Rakesh. Now to download Python, all you have to do, type Python on your browser or else you can directly navigate to python.org. Once you open this page, click on the download option and here on the screen you would find Python 3.10.4 that is the latest available version. If you are watching this video in the future, whatever the version is available, you can simply click on this and download. So I have clicked on this and within few seconds it will get download. In case you are using some other version of Windows, use this option and click on view full list of downloads. Here you would find all the versions for Windows. If you are using Mac OS, same thing, use these tabs. Okay, and the links available on those tabs will help you to choose which is the version that you should install on your Windows. Okay, so with that, we are done with this page. We'll just close this out and we are going to get onto our downloads folder and look for the file. Double click on this file and this MSI file is going to install Python on our system. Now, there are a lot of things that I need to understand on the screen. The first thing, there are two different options given to you. Either you can go for a direct installation. Now, if you install directly, it's going to install in the app data local programs Python. That means, let me show you, you have to go to your C drive, then uses your whatever the username you have, and then click on the view button and ensure the hidden items are selected. Then you will find app data click on app data, click on local and then here you would find a python folder once you have installed and that's where the installation would happen if you go through the install now. So look at the location shown here, here on your screen and just have a look of that location where exactly is that. And this includes there is something called IDLE that means integrated development learning environment integrated development learning environment this is the IDE integrated development environment will be where you will be writing the code right so that is known as IDLE integrated development learning environment okay there is also something called PIP so PIP is nothing but the package installer for Python so this will help to install and manage packages or the modules and documentation so if you go with this top option if you click on it it will automatically continue so do not click just understand this okay and the other one that you have is customized installation customized installation I am going to show you look at the two options given over here install launcher for users all users so on your laptop there could be multiple user accounts right for yourself for your brother or for somebody else in your family or friends you have created so if you would like to you know install launcher for all users this is recommended so go for it okay it is not going to hamper anything simply go for it now the other second option available over here add python 3.10 which is 10.4 now 3.10 to path what is this that means if you check this it is going to allow you to access python on your windows command prompt i am going to show you that okay so check this out so on this page you have understood everything properly what is ideally integrated development learning environment pip package installer for python right it is going to help install packages and manage packages and there's a documentation included so now this is quite simple if you want to go for that even you can choose that otherwise you can also go for customized installation so i'll go with customized installation just to show you little more detail so here it is saying documentation will be included you can uncheck that if you don't need a documentation but let it be then pip install pip which can download and install other python packages okay very important so have it and then ideally is also required install and uh, the ideally development in environment python test suite so i'm going to select all the options and going to hit on next okay install for all users let's select that okay and let everything be the same and this is going to install the last one was installing the app data but here if you look the location is slightly different she program files python you can also change it but let's go with this okay 310 means 3.10 understood and let's hit on 
install if it is asking for a user prompt just say yes and the installation setup will continue for maybe a minute or so and then once it's complete I'm going to show you what are the different modules get installed and how to use them okay one by one we will understand okay now the setup is successful now for some of you you would also find a small prompt here which is telling disable the max path so if you see that prompt over here please click on it so that that max path that you see for the very first time when you are doing if you have not enabled it earlier here you would find the max to enable the max so what would happen the limitation of a file path for example let's see where are um, um, Python has been installed so let's go to C drive and let's go to program files and here you can see Python 3.10 has been installed so this is a file uh, so there is a limit uh, of the file path which is 260 characters okay so to disable that limit so anything beyond 260 it is it is going to throw an error if you do not disable so you can disable that if you see that prompt in case you see that prompt just click on that prompt and hit on close so now we are done with installation now is the time to find just type python on your screen now the moment you type python on your screen you will find there are one two three four options you will find the one the first one is the python 3.10 so this is known as python shell okay so this is known as python shell now let's open the second one then you have something called idle integrated development learning environment so let's open this okay so what we have opened in the background the, the black one is the python shell and this is the ideally cell integrated development learning environment shell so how to use all that i am going to show you and then there are also couple of other things for example there is a manual okay there is a manual and so this, this is complete documentation okay if uh, really you would like to go through this this is what you can use it and the other one there is something called module docs one is manual and the other one is the module docs okay these are various modules so anyways so we have got an understanding now let's understand i'm going to show how to use the python shell how to use the ideally shell so let's start with the python shell let's say if i have to type print and i'm going to say hello world you can write or you can say hello rakesh okay so this has been printed let's say i want to print something else print hello world so this is the python shell uses of the python shell where you are executing each command at a time now let's use the ideally integrated development and learning environment let's use this particular window so this window let's minimize everything else so on this window again it works more or less in the same way for example hello world so there is a syntax error let me try again print hello world now if i have to print rakesh print again within parenthesis i'm going to write hello rakesh now you will say Rakesh again you are typing one command at a time so this can be avoided all you have to do click on file hit on new file okay hit on new file and in the new file I am going to write print, and let's say I am going to write hello world okay let's say I am writing one sentence if I have to execute before executing this let me save this file Control s and for making it easy let me you can create a folder on your desktop or simply store it anywhere you like 
so for the moment let me save it on the desktop and I am going to say my first program my first program dot py is the extension for python so py and I'm going to save it so the file has been saved now let's say I would like to know the um, execution of it how the output of this one would look like I can hit on run and hit on run module the moment you do this what would happen here from this particular file it has run and this is the output let's say I want to make some modification I'm going to say print or I, I want to write another line and I'm going to say hello Rakesh okay I'm going to type my name and let's say I want to save you can do a control s or you can just save it and let's hit on run so you can see the output that both the lines have been run through this py file okay this is one thing there is also another thing I spoke about from the command prompt you remember add to file uh, add to path you have enabled it so you can also call python from the command prompt okay so how to do that simply I am writing py put on enter and this three arrows is the symbol that it has been called 3.10.4 the same thing you can also use the command prompt and using the python shell it's going to execute okay it is calling the python shell and it's executing you see the output has come so these are the three different basic things that you have learned in this video so thank you guys hopefully you have installed python successfully and you got a knowledge what is the ideal how to create a py file and how to run that how to uh, call the python from the windows command prompt and how to execute a command so thank you guys for watching all of this we are going to come up with more such interesting contents for you thank you take care bye bye